What is up? Look at what we have here. Assetto Corsa Competizione. So I got the early access version of the game. It was like $28 on Steam. I have like $2 on my wallet, so $25, $26. And I would say pick up the game if you are an Assetto Corsa fan because you get access to the full game when it releases. Probably 2019 Q1. And I'm just gonna hop into a race while we discuss some of the stuff. Um, but yeah, early access of the game. There's like different pricing phases. Uh, prices go up as time goes on. So I guess build one, two, three, four, five. That's how they call it. Each build, they're testing different stuff. And then they're gonna be fixing a lot of stuff throughout the builds and the game becomes more and more polished. Mm -hmm. This video is probably going to be like a sort of first impressions. I did I'd play like an hour and a half. Struggle a lot with finding the right settings, but this is the best I can do for now. So yeah, let's just jump into it for now. Um, Green light. Give it all you can. I guess later I'll go back out to show what my settings are because I am playing on Right. This session is about controller. Uh, try to be fast, but don't push it over the limit. And the game right now supports Xbox 360 controller, and not the PS4 controller, which I have. <laughs> I don't have an Xbox, so a PS4 controller, and plugging it in, it just detects as a wireless controller. Mm -hmm. But the default gamepad settings doesn't really recognize any inputs on the controller so it didn't really work for me. So what ended up happening was I used the steering wheel settings for my controller instead but the downside of that is I don't have any uh, sensitivity options, dead zone options, adjustability so you're gonna find when I drive in a straight line that it's a little bit left and right because Literally on the sticks, I am on a straight line. I'm like turning it just barely just to keep it on the road to be straight. During turns, it actually feels really good. Um, I played a lot of a set of course on the controller. I played a, a GT Sport with the controller, and GT Sport actually had oops, had like an S rank. So I would say I'm pretty decent GT Sport controller driver. Um, as you can see in the videos uh, recently that came out. So let's talk about the game a little bit. Um, I think the game's physics definitely feels different from Acero Corsa. Because on Acero Corsa it feels really good when I'm drifting and stuff. Um, and I feel like it's it's a lot easier to spin out or lose control in the saddle course when you're not drifting. So I don't know what's with that. In this game, once you lose control, that's it. It's done. It's like there's there's like no way you can recover. So this is the same as playing a saddle course on the PS4 with a controller. Oh, I'm just looking at the time right now. This is a stint lap, so I'm actually supposed to go fast. Anyway, I'm just going to cruise because I don't want to mess up. And then we'll gradually build speed, so that's what we'll do. Like I said, um, once you lose control, just like the PS4 Acero Corsa, Corsa version, it's, it's over. Like, there's no, you can't recover from it. But otherwise... Right, five minutes to go. Stay focused. Otherwise, like, just driving the car... Um, I need to get used to the breaking points. Um, you know, the exit, you can floor it um, with modular throttle, which is pretty good. This car does understeer a little bit, so I can't really push it to the full extent. But, I mean, the physics, I'm liking it. It's, I don't want to compare it to GT Sport, but because I play GT Sport so much now, like my throttle input, my turning in, 
everything just translates over here without you know failure like when I when I turn the car I know where it's going the only downside is I just need to fine-tune those sensitivity options especially with controller so it's not as twitchy I think after I have that once the full game is released it's gonna feel a lot more smoother uh, if you're playing on a controller now if we talk about graphics I actually haven't played the the wet track yet um, so I'm not sure what that looks like and there's also nighttime in this game as well which is pretty nice but yeah I played Forza 7 in nighttime and it's just horrible because of the flickering lights and shit hopefully that doesn't come here graphics are I would say pretty decent but I wouldn't say it's like the best of the best. I'm playing on 1080p, I think pretty much max setting except for some shadows I turn to medium. So I could uh, output some more frames. I don't have a G-Sync monitor, but I don't see the game tearing as much. Um, right now I'm pulling around 90-95 frames per second. Pretty good FOV options with the in-view, in-car cockpit view. But uh, I would like to see more customization with the camera angles. On GT Sport, I really like playing on the hood view. Um, but this one is just, I don't know, maybe it's varies from car to car. It just looks kind of weird. Oh, actually, I'm going to pause after the session. I'm going to show you guys my FOV settings. And then I'll probably go back later uh, just to show everyone the settings. What else do I have to say about this? Bugs? The initial startup of the game is really slow. The first time you load into the race is really slow. But after... Well, actually you've seen it uh, load in. It's actually pretty quick this morning. But yesterday when I was playing the, like, the first time, when it has to load everything, it is quite slow. But after it loads the first time, then every time afterwards it's, it's like pretty quick. The audio... And the music is uh, kind of messed up and glitchy at this point. Sometimes it turns on at random. I just turned the volume down to like 15 to 20 right now. Just so uh, it's, it's not bothering because it is pretty loud. Uh, I really like that online leaderboard we have going on on the left. Like even though I'm not driving fast, my 208 time, that's like super horrible. Okay, so but whatever. This is probably a faster lap, 205 maybe. Like this is just casually cruising, you know? Well, I've made the fastest lap so far. My fastest lap probably is around 201 officially, but potential, I would say it, I can probably cut it down to less than two minutes. Steer there. So I actually don't mind that they release a full game just with GT3 cars because I think majority of the people who are going to be playing this will be playing online anyway. And when you're playing online, you know, all the I said of course the lobbies were like GT3. And even on uh, GT Sport, it's GT three cars and GT4 cars or group three group four cars let's actually talk about this game mode so there's like a progression rating and g different game modes so hot lap is your, your typical hot lap you know best uh, racing s or hot lap settings dry you get you know no sunny weather All right. Session is now over. then you got the stint stint lap thing which is you have a certain amount of time what is, what is this replay can I ch okay so you get a specific number of time and then you have to put in you know, a certain number of laps and lap times I believe so okay I can't go to the controls here so let's quit Okay, so um, 
Okay, so let's backtrack a little bit before we talk about those things. We'll go into a hot lab and we'll talk about it. So as you can see, I'm under steering wheel. These things doesn't work for me because I'm on a controller. I just I try playing around with these hopefully to get it work, but not really. So I'm able to map my wireless controller, which is my PS4 controller plugged in with a USB, no other software, and I was able to get this done. So if you click on advance or click on it, oops, cancel. Click on advance, you can see that if I'm turning left and right, it has that input configuration, but it basically doesn't show me anything because I try changing the limits, but it's still super sensitive. So in terms of assist, manual, everything else automatic, this, this off, oops, and then general settings is in English, video settings, I have 1080p, vsync off, resolution 100, epic, shadows at medium, motion blur, I hate motion blur, so I took it off, um, no frame limit, opponent visibility, I don't know what this is. Okay, anyway, I have that off for some reason. I think it was off to begin with. F FXAA rather than temporal because FXAA just takes less power. Um, I am on a 1060 6 gigs, which is pretty decent already. Yeah, only thing that like kind of screws you up in terms of frames is probably shadows. And I'm running it pretty well. So everything is 100% music. I turned it down, but I can't even hear the music right now, which is odd but let's just jump back into a special event let's do another hot stint so now you can see you can see my name um, 239 sunset weather okay so what is this online lab record 5 minute 48 I don't remember what that means the hot stint, hot stint is basically Green light. Oh, what the hell? 35 minutes, eh? This is gonna be a doozy. So I play with track control off. Okay. Right, this session is about consistency. Try to be fast, but don't push it too much over the limit. Okay, consistency. So if you look at the top right, you can see car control is my is what I'm working on currently. I believe there's like three tiers. First is like do clean labs and then like more clean laps to build up your pace and consistency you know make sure everything is driving on the limit that's how you get your TR I forgot what that stands for and then CN is consistency and then CC is car control so I'm trying to get my car control up now and it's telling me to do one more lap so right off the bat we're playing on sunset and the sun glare is actually really nice. It's not too blinding. Which is pretty good. Drive on the limit, that's a uh, yellow. A little bit wide. Let's see if we can get a, a, oops, a quick lap for you guys here. Oh, that's wide. Oh, we're still okay though. We're not gonna pull a really quick time anyway because this is our outlap per se. Let's try to get some practice here. I don't know if I'll make a second video. I might just lump it all in one giant video. But uh, I might. Just because I don't know how, how long this session is and pretty much covered my first impression of the game already. So it looks like it is a half an hour session, 35 minutes, oh, a little bit too quick there. And it looks like people can get in 36 laps, I mean not 36, 16 laps. 31 minutes. Oh, this is hard to see. Holy shit. So one minor thing is I know that the FOV settings are a ton. I probably should show it right now actually. So if we look at FOV, 
I have height on 3, distance minus 20, and FOV on max, which is 70. Hopefully they give us more, like higher ones, like in the Settle Corsa. So I don't know how to set up the right FOV, but this is comfortable for me. But the only thing I want to see is more is the front corners of the car, because I can't really put it in and turn in at the right spots. I'm trying to get used to it. And one thing about a set of Corsa when playing with the controller is it's really beneficial and helpful to see the wheel move because it, if you don't see the wheel then you tend to overturn but if you see the wheel in your view then you can like s you know slowly turn in then you know how much the wheel is actually turning in when I played a set of Corsa the first time you know I just played it like other racing games you turn all the way to the max which is not what you're supposed to do and I'm gonna modulate the steering so same thing here in the Settle Corsa I can only play in cockpit view other than that I can't play on any other views the chase cam I don't know it looks like a Settle Corsa <laughs> but I mean it's not the greatest and compared to Project Cars I both of them I, I, I just don't prefer to chase cam. Project Cars and Project Cars 2, the FOB and the, ch ch the speed on it, it just looks weird. Like and design. this one, they took out the left to right sway, which I like because I don't like that sway back in the Settle Corsa. But it still doesn't feel good because I don't know how, if I'm in control of the car and I don't really know what's happening when you're turning in or not and stuff. Oh my god, that's why. Oh, okay, so the first lap I got a 202, which is okay, I guess. <clears throat> but yeah, if you guys have this game, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you're interested in seeing more videos, let me know. I am working on, or I'm going to be playing some Call of Duty beta today in Forza Horizon 4. Oh shit, that's, that's why, that's why, that's why. Forza Horizon 4 demo. So stay tuned for those. By the time you're watching this, it's probably... You know, the Call of Duty beta is done. And I don't know how long you can play a demo for, for Forza, Forza Horizon 4. So, we'll see. But this game, um, once there's a new build, I'll probably make a new video. Because I'll be playing that additional content that they release. But so far right now, we have one car, one track, a few modes. But, uh, yeah, mainly just they're testing the consistency and the bugs and stuff for now. Alright, come on. So my goal, well, before we end this video, is to get a, a decent lap for you guys. So my pace is 36, so I've done my car control apparently. You look at the top. Oh shit. Oh, that's not good. Turn in, come on, straighten out, floor it, break, turn in, turn in, turn in, wide, so wide. Alright, I really like the top left where it shows you your real time speed versus your previous lap, I think that's really cool. But I think I said, of course, I already had it in the past. It's just shown at the top with the little blocks. Hold up, hold up. Come on. Yes. Lost a little bit of time there. 200 of a second. Slow down for this corner. It's so hard to push it all the way here because the car understeers. 
600 in a second. Perfect, that's good. So now we're one second off of the last lap. I'm gonna break out that 100 marker. I'm gonna take this in fourth gear. Cut that apex. And come out floor on the third gear. Two minute, two minute one. Okay. We do better. Tighter turn in. Earlier acceleration out. And then let's go down. We're gonna turn in a little bit more. Accelerate out. Perfect. Break in. Turn in hard. Turn here. Come on, accelerate out. Perfect. Half a second faster. Gonna break out the cones. Two gears down. Just slide through. Minimum braking. Oh, I don't know. Uh, okay, that's still good. We're still good. Yeah, we lost a little bit of time there. Oh, we lost a lot of time there. Okay, okay we're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. That was a fast turn. Okay, the last lap. Slow down here. I don't like these apexes. Don't spin. Okay, good. I probably get through that part a lot quicker. Yeah, I lost some time there. Okay, cut this apex. Come on, come on. Slow down a little bit. Come on, get a good exit. Perfect. Okay, we're, we're faster, we're faster. Can we do 1.3? Oh no! Oh, damn! Yo, those Apex are killer. Okay. That's cool, that's cool. We can do another lap. We know where we can improve on. And that's why it's just so satisfying playing this game. Just... I feel like I can play a ton of hot laps on this game than GT Sport. GT Sport just kind of get bored. I'm pretty sure once I have all those settings down, I can like easily clock a faster time. Right now it's just like twitchy as hell. So I can hear this. Oh my god, I've saved it. Oh, you know what? The time of day is changing. See, now that I'm worrying about going faster, I'm making mistakes. That's not good. This lap is, is, a, is a waste. Uh, basically caught up to our uh, lap time. Oh shit. We break way before the 100. Man, that's a scary corner, dude. That's what I'm saying, like... If I'm able to see the corner of my car, then that won't happen. Alright, here we go. My headlights are on now. Am 
Map number five. Perfect. Perfect break. Oh no! Ah, oh, come on! I was a little bit too confident about the car's grip. Accelerate out of there a little bit too early. That's cool though. We're gonna do this lap and then a lap after. I really like this dynamic day thing. It makes your uh, session not too boring. Changes it up. God, I just do. Oh shit. Oh, come on! Oh, fuck. Uh, why can't I get down to my, get past my 201? It's so annoying, you know? People are pulling 154s. 156. It's getting dark now. It's getting really dark now. It's actually good practice. They really play in the dark. Oops, dark here. See, my second half of that lab was good. First half of the lab was not good. That was sweet. Lost a little bit of time there.
Come on! Under! No! No! Come on! Oh my god! So close, dude. It's so close. Okay. How do you be closer than that? Oh my god, over, over, over. Oh my god, why am I on third gear? Oh my god. Okay, this is for sure a point where I can catch up. Hundreds of a second. Whoops, I think I hit that cone. Damn, the second off, 201. I definitely see my pacing go up. Just a couple of laps. It was a really aggressive turn right there. Oh my god, I'm like even with my ghost. Oh, a little aggressive there. Way better exit though. Come on, is this it? Come on! Yes! 159.9! Alright! Hell yeah! Okay, I don't think I can squeeze much more out of this. 159. Actually, proud of that. Especially with a controller as a steering wheel. <laughs> Pretty decent. Now I can like just calm down and not worry. And then watch, I'm gonna just like, because I'm playing calmly, I'm just gonna beat my, my lap time. Not Probably not on this lap, but like eventually. I'm gonna beat my own lap time just by playing casually, you know? 
Like I know where in the track that I need to improve on. Oh shit, those are... Uh... Oh, slide out the outside. That's a weird one. I know where exactly on the track that I need to improve on. Just like over here. Oh my god, will I be able to do it? Okay, another 159 lap. No way. God, no way. 300 of a second. 300 of a second faster. 159.6. Holy shit. Yo, I'm telling you. You just gotta like, not look at your time and just keep playing and racing. Just have your uh, virtual vision on the top left with the, oops, with the green stuff. It's like not even commentary anymore. You can hear the, oh, you can hear that excitement from me. Oh my god. Saved it! Don't even know how I saved it. We got 9 minutes left in the session. Oh shit. We're actually gonna do that 35 minute race. So, uh, I'm gonna put that in a separate video, maybe, I don't know. I'm not really sure yet. I don't know if I want to play another 35 minutes of this right now. I might. What's the, like, what placing I get at the end? I really have no idea. I tried playing it, but I spun out, and it was actually pretty difficult. Cars were pretty fast. So you can look at my top right now, my TR used to be 52 I think, and then consistency was like 50 something, and then now it's actually gradually went up over time because I've been driving consistently, and now I'm at 78 and 78 for car control. I don't know how to get the pacing up. Got eight more minutes in this bad boy. I think I'm gonna end it after this. And then stay tuned for a second video where I played the last race. 35 minute race. We'll see how that goes. Right now I'm just driving super casual now. I can't get this corner right. They don't know when to turn in. Like in other games, I know where because I can see the car and there's like markers on the side of the road. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. I was distracted. Wow, I spun out. I was like, you know what, Inch, surprisingly, after you get out on the circuit, it's actually not that difficult to get back on. Like you still have a ton of speed and stuff. You're not like all the way slowed down. Got out there pretty quick. Oh shit. 
Look at that. It's so easy to get back on track. I actually feel really comfortable playing uh, in the nighttime here. It's really bright. I can see. Some games you just can't see anything. So it's like six minutes left in the session. I think I get average 16 laps. Oh shit! No! 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 Nope, not with that attitude. That's my what, second spin out on that corner. So I feel like after you spin out, um, it's it's a lot slippery, more slippery. And I just noticed something in the bottom right when I was breaking. I don't know how to check that out. Yeah, so my brakes are worn now. I think. They're all red. Hopefully I have enough time for actually 16 laps. Might have to drive a little bit quicker now. Alright mate, five minutes to go. Keep pushing. Okay, I might not be able to do 16 laps then. Driving so bad this lap, oh my god. Okay. Get back in this way of things. So four minutes, that's two laps, 14, 15. My session just ends. I'll be on lap 16 if I can pull a two, stop two minute lap time from here on out, you know? Oh man, I'm gonna second off pace. be able to do it guys will I be able to do it
Yes! Sixty! <laughs> oh man, that is it for a set of course uh, competizione. Hopefully, this will either sway you to not buy the game or buy the game. Anyhow, it's like twenty-five, twenty-six dollars Canadian. Really not too bad if I'm getting the full game afterwards. So excellent. I actually, I just want to see what my rank was. Am I able to see my rank? No. Am I able to see my rank? No. Is there a leaderboard anywhere? No. Well, I guess that's it. So, hope you guys enjoyed watching. Stay tuned for the next video. We will do the quick race sunset. We've done these two. This one is just hot lapping. You know, it's infinite amount. These two actually have certain times. This one's 8 minutes. This one's 35 minutes. This one's a 35 minute race as well. So, thanks for watching. We will see you guys in the next video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And stay tuned for the next episode. Bye everyone.